Hey guys, today I'm filming for you um, all about my piercings as you can see by the title. Um, so I'm really excited to film this video for you, it wasn't requested or anything, I just thought um, I like watching a lot of other people's their piercing videos so maybe you guys would like to see mine. I'm going to do this video in order of when I got each piercing. I'll give you a quick, like either where I got it or a bit of detail about it. I'm going to tell you about the piercings that I've retired and then any piercings I want to get in the future. So here we go. So like most people, my first piercing was my first holes. Um, I've had them pierced three times now because when I was younger I was stupid and let them close up. I think the first time I had them pierced I was about 10 or 11 and then the last time I had them pierced I was about 13 I think. So I had them pierced like three times within three, two or three years. Um, and now I can keep like leave earrings out for like two months, I don't know, <laughs> that was a really random figure. I can keep piercings out for a long time in my ears and they will go back in just fine. Um, so the next piercing I got after that was my second holes and you can see that there's a hole there but it's closed up. Um, I got these done at the chemist near my house. Um, I have never been to like a real piercing place, I'd only ever had my ears done at the chemist or at Claire's Accessories so I'd never been to a piercing place. So I had my second holes done by a chemist. I originally went to get my, um, what's it called, just like a cartilage piercing? I don't know, pierced up here, but um, my ears fold over too much so I couldn't get them. So I just got second holes instead. So after that I decided to give up on ear piercing altogether and went to get an exciting piercing. So um, I got my nose pierced, this side here, there is a stud in here, you can see it. That was my first ever piercing. I had that done at a place called Asgard in Southampton and I was very excited. I didn't realise it was buy one get one free so I literally just got the one piercing and I was... I don't remember how old I was when I got this. I, I was 17, it was just out of a breakup. I became a little alternative kid. I cut my, well I got a full fringe cut in, dyed my hair black, got a nose ring. <laughs> that was the start of it all. Um, so the next thing I did after that was stretch my ears. Um, they're back to normal now, they're just normal whole. I had this side stretched up to a 16 and this side stretched up to a 12, but I got X-Men behind my ears and I don't know, I had to take the um, the tapers out. The, the goal for this one was 16, but I hadn't yet put my um, my tunnel in, so it's gone back down to normal. And then the goal for this one was also 16. I just wasn't there yet, I don't know. Um, I also started trying to stretch the, the second hole, so this one was about 12 and this one was about 2, and this one was a 16 and that one was about a 4. But um, they're all out. Um, I miss them, I want to stretch my ears again, I want to get back to 16 on both of them and then maybe just have studs in the seconds, I want to get those re-pierced. Um, yeah, but as for now I'm still clearing up eczema and stuff so that's going to take a while until they are at a healthy place where I can stretch them again. The next piercings I got, I wanted to be a little bit of a rebel. <laughs> Before I turned 18 I wanted to do a rebellious thing, I don't know, I got my lips pierced. I got either side, so I got snake bites. My mum was like, please don't do it. I know you're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it behind my back. And I was like, mum, I'm going to get them pierced. And she was like, no, you're not. You wouldn't do that to me. So if I go into town with my friends, I go to Asgard, um, again, the same place I got my nose, and I get my spider bites and I come home and she could not believe it. <laughs> so those were my next piercings. Um, and that was the summer before I was 18, because I had them done just before I went to Reading, I think. Um, and then, on my 18th birthday, I went into town, they had some money, so I thought, why not get a piercing? So I went to Asgard again, and I got my septum done, and I got my um, second, my other side of my nose done. So now I have a ring in this side, and then a, a clicker in my nose here, and then a stud here. So all of these were done at Asgard and the lips as well and uh, it's buy one get one free so that's why I got both of those done and I still love these, I wouldn't take them out. Um, I change my septum from time to time but normally I just have a black one in just because it's normal, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the next piercings I got, I got four at one time, I got four um, microdermals, I got them on my hips. I got two on either side, I had them in the red gemstone 
that cost me £60 for four microdermals, which I think is a pretty good deal. It's found it on free, like I've mentioned a zillion times, and I had those done at Asgard as well. Had those done on a whim, went into town with my sister and was like, let's get microdermals. She didn't, I did. Um, and it, that was a year and a half ago and I only have one left in. They didn't last very long, I wouldn't really recommend the piercing, they don't seem to stay. Maybe it's just my body rejects faster than others, but I'm kind of disappointed that I've just got one left. Um, they didn't hurt when they came out, one of them was brushing crumbs off of me and I literally brushed the piercing out. <laughs> so that's a bit annoying. The other two have been half hanging out so I've just kind of pulled them out, which didn't really hurt. Um, yeah, so I'm quite disappointed that they're not in anymore and I have some icky little scars. But now after surgery I have extra scars, so that's really nice. It's really, my, my stomach area is just full of scars. Um, so the next piercing I got, I got with a friend. I met her at university and she was going to get three lip piercings and Spa won't get one free, so she said, do you want a free piercing? And I was like, okay. So um, I picked on the spot and went, uh, um, belly button. I just thought of a, a free area where I could have one piercing, so I got my belly button pierced. But because of surgery, I had to take the bar out, and then because I had bandages and stuff on for too long, it's closed up. That was the first time I'd taken it out. So my belly button's closed up now as well, not my actual belly button, just, just the piercing. So that's closed up, so I don't have that anymore. And that was my first piercing I got at a different... That was my first piercing I got at a different piercing shop. I got that at Titanic Piercings, which is also in Southampton. And I really liked it in there. That was the first time I'd gone in, I really liked it. And then I decided to get my cheeks pierced. And I went to Asgard, and they said they didn't have any of the long bars. So I was like, okay, let's go to Titanic. I went to Titanic, and they were amazing. They were so nice, so I got my cheeks done. And now we are up to speed. Now that is all the piercings I have. That's quite a lot, um, not as many as some people, but a lot more than others, I don't know. Um, so as for how many piercings I have now, I have one, two, three, four, five, and then my microdermal six, and well, I have my ears here, so maybe eight. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's the only piercings I have now. As for piercings I want to get in the future, I'm contemplating getting my lips pierced again because I really miss those, but I don't know whether I would have um, bars or hoops, but I can decide that if and when I get them done. I'm really contemplating it, but the, the reason I took them out was because I kept losing the balls and it really was very irritating. And then with the hoops, I couldn't put my lipstick on properly in the morning and that used to really wind me up. So <laughs> I don't know whether to get them back or not. I'm considering it. So I'm not like dying to have them redone. So I'm just gonna leave it for now until I decide if I do or don't definitely want them and then the other piercings I'm considering getting are um, my nipples pierced I've been thinking about it for quite a while I'm quite intrigued I think it's mainly because I've seen the, the little heart shaped bars with the arrow through that you can get to put on the nipple piercing and I think those are so cute so I'm definitely considering getting those at some point in the future but I'm not sure if I definitely want them done I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research into them and see so thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed learning all about my piercings and um, comment below, tell me what your favourite piercing is that I have and tell me what piercings you have or what you want to get, I'd be really interested to know. So like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.